Hello everyone, my name is Jerry BR and welcome back to Digimon Survive. So we're going back to the school, I guess. And okay, we are still in a rapid cutscene, skipping everything. Which is perfect. Alright, uh, why was he so opposed to exploration again? We'll get attacked. Did I get this right last time? Oh, yeah. But apparently that didn't get me any affinity with Shuji. Oh, God, we're already up on the hill. <sighs> what do I do? I was right last time for trusting Kaito. I talked to everyone else before. say anything different okay but that's not that much Good to know that no one has anything important to say. We have to trust Kaito, even though it, that's right, is it, Drachmon join the, oh, now that Drachmon's here, do I get credit for his, oh, I don't. I guess once I do it in battle, that'll probably trigger it. Well, I have all these, so might as well give them to Drachmon. Because he's the weakest one here. And like a fine potency crystal. And yeah, he can have an acceleration one. Because. Well, I guess he can go Mega. Yeah, it's just this one that can't do anything other than Rookie. It's useless right now. Right. The only thing that would make replaying these better is if it told me what I picked last time and what the result was. Isn't it nice being out on a hike? Yes, nice. The breeze is so warm. Yes, warm. Uh, Takuma, are they always like this? Pretty much, this is actually a lot of talking for them. You don't say. Man, some people sure are weird. Hey, 
What do you think that cloud looks like? A cloud. Then, how about that one? A cloud. This rock shirt looks weird. Yeah, weird. What's it look like to you? A rock. Hehe, <laughs> I'm starting to like how these two talk to each other. They get along so well. I guess as long as it's fun for them, that's all that matters. Alright. I don't think, I don't get to make any decisions here. No, but I can't skip it anyway, so. Big bandage. Blue seed. I thought I saw something behind them. I wonder what the others are up to. They could already have taken the cable car up to the tower. What is a cable car, anyway? Have you ever seen one before? Not in person, but I've seen pictures. It's like a long moving cable with a box attached to it, and you ride inside the box. Oh, that sounds fun. I want to ride in the box. Maybe we can do that later. All right. Okay, so we already talked to Drachmon. I know last time I looked at the suspicious thicket and it gave me an item. Uh, I was hoping talking to Kaito would give me something. This, I think this is probably one of the better scenes that's animated. Alright, and we're into a fight. Which is exciting because we just get to dest destroy her. Oh, we can bring along one recruit. Neither one of them have anything equipped. Uh, mm, they're both pretty much the same, but... Give him one of those and just... What else? Cause he honestly need doesn't need anything. But eh, just the skill one, just to keep him going. Alright. It should still be on hard. We'll send Piedmon up this way, because he's probably less strong than these ones. He can accelerate and charge himself. Drachmon probably needs a boost. Alright. 
Search. Uh, maybe do this to yourself. Just so he can keep in the... Yeah, that will give them a free turn of not doing much. Come on, counterattack. Yes, we'll just take that one out. It'd be cool if in this version I could, if I could kill Aru Kenimon. Let's see. Can I hit all three? Oh no, the one survives. I think this will be fine. Nope, move all the way up. Oh, it's not even going to try to do anything. Well, that's stupid. So I thought killing him releases those two. Which one's this? If those other two get up much further, they're going to take out Aru Kenimon. Sorry, I forgot she had a double attack. Let's see if he can make it the whole way. Oh, 
Oh, I don't have... I could have sworn he also had a... Yeah, I don't think he can quite reach her. Spaces is awesome. Right. Now, this one just get right up behind her. And one Giga Destroyer. Alright. Alright, level up. And tons of items. Let's leave him be. Oh yeah, that's right, that is what I said before. I forgot. Because I think if I said something else, he'd join. Which I think is crazy. Now we just have to hope that Ryo doesn't do something stupid and get himself killed here. Shouldn't be that hard, right? Nothing's behind us, right? Okay. Um. Ah. Just one short of hitting that one. I know it's probably overkill to give my strongest Digimon the ability to attack twice, but... Oh, I'll acceleration charge myself. I, I don't want a Agumon getting left behind just because he doesn't move fast. Oh, does she also have a double attack? Because that sounds like something I'd do.
Oh, that's right, Florimon digivolves. So is she gonna undigivolve in this fight? Because I already had her in her mega form. Ugh. Vegemon. One of the worst Digimon. I could end this now, but we'll end everyone. Oh wait, that's the end of the fight? Is that in the f No, we have to defeat Cyclone Mon. too high of level to really get any valuable experience. Now, Ryo, you better not... <laughs> Wait, that's right. I got my phone. I can call mommy. Why isn't it working? Why? I can't call my mommy. Why do you want to return to the real world? Sniff sniff snob. I, I don't, don't belong here. This isn't my world. Takuma and the others all hate me. I know because they all treat me like dead weight. They're trying to use these monsters of theirs to get rid of me. Oh, is that how it looks to you? That's why I want to go back. Back to my world. Back to my home. Uh, we'll just skip a little more. I forgot how much they talked. Oh wait, so this is, I don't care. I don't care about anything anymore. All right, so this is different. Okay, but doesn't something about these two seem off to you? Things seem strange. You think they were fighting? Ryo, are you okay? What exactly went on between these two? Oh no, guys. This is not looking good. The fog is getting real dense. Okay, cool. So, uh... It's risky, but yeah. Takuma, stop! Ryo's in trouble. You expect me to just leave him? You're not going to make it. The fog will get you too. I I forgot mommy was dead. Kept waiting for a call that was never coming. There's there's no place for me. Not in this world or any other. Kill! Whoa. Kunmon? Now's our chance. Come on, everyone. We have to save Ryo. You got it. Man, he is nothing but clueless. Tch, what a pain. Wait, what do you guys think you're doing? Alright, I got him. Hold still, Ryo. 
Rio, are you okay? Hang in there. Hurts. Yeah, he probably has a broken leg or something. Huh? What was that, Rio? I said that hurts you, idiots. You didn't have to tackle me. Rio, you sound like you're all right now. Have you come to your senses? What's that supposed to mean? I never lost my senses, genius. I just got a little overwhelmed, that's all. Don't worry about me. I'm fine now. Yay! Took the true full route. Hey everyone! Is Rio alright? <laughs> oh thank god, the fog's cleared up! Kill! You're still here? Don't think I forgot about how you bumped into me, you little creep. But I guess it did save me, so thanks. I'll let it go this time. Kill! Ryo, did you actually thank Kunmon just now? Well, yeah, I mean, it did save my life. I figured it was the least I could do. Funny, I think maybe you're forgetting some people there. You gonna thank us, Ryo? Hey, shut up! You don't have to be so smug. <laughs> wow. It's so nice to see the truthful route. We were all happy we'd save Ryo, but soon the reality of our situation sank in again. Between learning we were on an island, with no hope of rescue and that fog monster, my earlier optimism had faded, and the threat of death suddenly seemed very real. We were all shaken, but Shuji was able to calm us down, and we returned to the school. Leave it to Shuji to step up in a situation like that and get us all back safely. Kaito was next to recover. He was all ready to go to the amusement park and find Miu. But the rest of us managed to convince him to come back to the school instead. Shuji made the case that we could search more effectively after we'd regrouped. This all sounds familiar. And after seeing that fog monster, even Kaito must have realized the need for caution. Everyone else was still scared for learning this was another world and we might all die. Like, this looks the exact same. It was dark by the time we got back. We were exhausted. Nobody bothered with dinner. The others mostly seem to collapse into sleep, but I find that impossible. My mind keeps coming back to the same thoughts. Can we survive in this strange world? What if a monster like Arukenima attacks again? And what about that monster in the fog? Was it the reason Ryu started to go crazy? What is this world anyway? And what sort of creatures are Agumon and the others? So many questions fill my head. Ryu didn't give up, but what happens next? Even if we all work together and overcome every hardship, what happens next? This is a different world. Nobody's going to come save us. Are we stuck here now? That'd be awful. Living in constant fear of attack with no adults and no family. It's starting to get cold. If I stay like this, I'll probably end up getting sick. Even if I can't sleep, maybe I should just lie down for a while. All right, we're on to part. Oh, that's right. I've been thinking about what to do now. Ow. Oh. After I met you, I thought if we all just worked together, we'd make it through this. Um, but this isn't even our world. However long we hold out, nobody's going to come save us. Tell me, Agumon, what do I do now? Should I be like Shuji and try to stay out of danger, or hole up somewhere like Ryo? They have very similar plans. If the alternative is running around until I die, maybe it's better to just give up. Well, what do you want to do, Ka Takuma? Uh, study this place to find some way home? For us all to live, really. Because I'm a video game character, I can live anywhere. I want everyone to make it through this, I don't want to lose a single one of us. I know we have to do more than just stay out of danger, but I wish we had a safe place. Even here, you never know when we might be attacked. It's not like I got all the answers. Who knows if I, if what I did was right, or what I should have done differently. Not me, that's for sure. Takuma, I can tell that you're hurting. You're right, Agumon. I hurt so much, so emo. And what's worse is that there's no clear way out of this. 
Our Kenimon is still after us. Maybe that amusement park is crawling with enemies. Plus, if we have been transported to some other world, is there even a way back? I don't know. I just don't know. What are we even supposed to do? Hey, Takuma. Takuma, listen. I may not know much, but I do know one very important thing. And it's that if you try, Takuma, you can do anything. Whether you team up with the others or just blindly press on in the end, you'll succeed. Haha, <laughs> where's this coming from? I'm not that special. But you are, Takuma. I know it. And I believe in you. Akumon. Thanks. That actually makes me feel better. Maybe now I'll be able to get some sleep. Really? Then I'm glad. Good night, Agumon. Good night, Takuma. Alright. I hope I can skip all this text. Because if I just lost the power to speed through. Okay, good. Because I'm thinking most of this isn't going to change for a couple chapters. Or parts, as they call it. Those hands that reach out to grab Rio, that thing that appeared in the fog. What were they? Luckily we were able to save Rio, but what if that thing came back? Is that what scared Agumon and the others? It didn't seem like something we could beat. Man, just thinking back on it has me shaking. That thing was seriously scary. Are we really going to be able to survive here in this world? Okay, cool. You saw that tentacle thing come out of the fog when you nearly lost your friend, right? They're all terrified of that thing, and believe me, I can see why. Oh, I guess they were all thinking along the same lines as me then. And yeah, that thing was really scary. Heh, <laughs> pathetic. You got your friend out, isn't that all that matters? Sure, but can you really blame them for getting scared of that monster in the mist? No, but that just means Miu is in the most danger all by herself. Okay, cool. We've seen this. Alright. Free action. Alright. Is there anything... Kudumon, can you evolve? Not yet. I guess that's going to be important to the story. I'm just going to do a quick save, though. Alright, so first, Woods by School. Give me a free item. Alright. So we really need... Shuji, because he can still. Is he? Okay, no one's in. Is, is he not around? All right then, um, Rio, you're my sec. What do you mean? I can't. I need to talk to him. Alright, Kaito, buddy. Oh, God, this is gonna be so hard to get Kaito talking. Oh, hey, Kaito, what are you doing over here? Oh, I don't know. They want to intrude on you guys or anything. Hey, come on, you're one of us now. No need to hang back. Nah, if only I'd got on to that woman sooner, things wouldn't have gotten so bad. Hey, you shouldn't let that bother you. Besides, everything turned out fine. That's right, Kaito. It all worked out. But if anything had gone wrong, Ryo could have wound up dead. I really do feel bad about how it all went down like that. I've always considered Kaito brash and thoughtless, but really, he's a good guy. With a strong sense of what's right, surprisingly honesty, and even common sense. I should say something. Uh... What's my affinity with these people? Kaito, zero. Makes sense. Uh, you've got some sense. You know, you actually do have some common sense, Kaito. Don't say common sense, huh? What's this all of a sudden? 
You can be reckless and short-tempered, and you don't really have a way with words. But you're always thinking of what you can do for Mew, and I think that's great. What? That's not... I'm not... No. Kaito, what's wrong? Forget it, it's nothing. But thanks, Takuma. Anyway, enough about me. You sure the others are going to show up? Because I'm not waiting past noon. Okay, I got it already. Man, I shouldn't even be wasting time like this talking to you. Huh? Now he's angry. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just a cover, and he's really feeling embarrassed. What a liar. Hey, I can hear you, and I'm serious about not wasting time. We got enemy monsters and weird fog out there. Yeah, he's right. We've got no end of things to be concerned about right now. Oh yeah, that reminds me. What were those creepy hands that came out of the fog? That's been bugging me too. Drachmon, do you or any of the others know anything? Hmm. I'm not really sure myself. You don't know? Sorry. Well, that's okay. You were trying to cheer me up the only way you knew how. Thanks. Whatever else is true, Kaito and Drachmon make a good team. But for real, man, the heck is this? I can get some whack-ass texts. I can't say anything back to anyone. You too, huh, Kaito? You mean, I'm not the only one? Yeah, everyone else too. We were thinking of heading to the radio tower, actually. What? And leave Mew all by her lonesome? We gotta hurry up and save her. Whoa, man, you said you'd wait around until noon, right? Yeah, yeah. Alright. Um... I guess yeah, if I can't talk to Rio, I'll talk to Minoru here. All right, what should I say? Uh, man, oh wait, back on. What sort of comments do I like? Uh, the same ones as you well I'll read anything if I think it's interesting but I'm mostly into superheroes yeah I knew it superhero comics are the best right when we make it back to our world I got tons of recommendations for you hey Rio have you heard of this one it's super good oh that's right Rio was never here for these what are you talking about comics are you crazy look at the situation we're in ha uh, don't be such a downer Rio why are you scared huh you Haha, <laughs> gotcha. Minoru, you should not tease him so. Oh, it's fine. This is just our way of getting along. Right, Ryo? I can't believe it. You never change, do you, Minoru? <laughs> you're so full of it. What, you think you're being reass reassuring? Huh? Oh, haha. Uh, was it that obvious? Completely. I bet you thought I was upset. And this was your stupid way of cheering me up. Oh, I get it. See, you can't fool me, loser. <laughs> Hey, stop. <laughs> I don't think that was Falcomon's line. Hey, stop. It's really embarrassing when you spell it out like that. Give it a rest, okay? Look, I do appreciate the sentiment. What? Was was that like an apology? From you, Ryo, to me? Hey, I never said I was sorry, okay? Minoru may not have been especially smooth just now, but then again, neither was Ryo. Uh, why not? Falcomon was up. It would seem Kunmon has something he would like to show you. Q Q. He does? I wonder what it could be. Q. Seems Kunmon has made some equipment for Rio. Here, take a look. I feel like I did get this. Q Q. He asked for your honest opinion, Takuma. What do you think of this equipment? What do I think of it? I'm not sure I even know what it's supposed to be. Still, I'm sure Kunmon worked very hard making this for Rio. I like to tell Falcomon he did a good job. Falcomon did ask for an honest opinion. Uh, it's well made. It's good. This is real well made. I bet Rio will be thrilled with it too. Q? Hmm. Kumon seems anxious about whether Rio will indeed be thrilled. Well, Rio may not always be the most straightforward guy, but he cares about you, Kumon. From now, from how he's been acting lately, that seems clear. Q? 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 Haha. I think even I got that one. You look really happy, Kunmon. Q. He would like you to have this. What? Are you sure? Q Q. 
He says it is only a prototype, so he does not mind. I would encourage you to take it. I got this before, though, didn't I? And he's dead in the last playthrough, so how am I getting it now? Everyone seems restless. Restless. Don't worry, Mayuki. I'll always be with you. With you. So that's where these two went. I wonder, should I say something? Both Haru and Mayuki are kind of hard to talk to sometimes. Although it is nice to see them getting along so well. Huh? Mayuki, that song. Hey, Takuma, did you hear that? Sounded like Mayuki was singing something. Yeah, it did. It was too quiet for me to really make it out, but I heard something. Never mind. Or was I imagining it? Hmm. Haru doesn't seem too happy, does he? No. If anything, he looks really sad. You think so? Then let's go cheer him up. No, wait, Agumon. Haru! Mayuki! Oh, Takuma Agumon. How long have you been there? Been there. Not too long. Sorry. We didn't mean to eavesdrop or anything. You heard that? Heard that. He's asking about the song, isn't he? Maybe we weren't supposed to hear it. Should I be honest about this or pretend not to have noticed? Then again, I am worried about Mayuki. Maybe I should turn the question back on them. Is it bad if I did? I don't know. Just, yeah. You mean how Mayuki was singing something? Yeah, it was quiet, but I heard it. Me too, me too. I definitely heard it. Agumon's here, I can't lie. Oh, so you heard it too. Too. Could it Could it have been because of you? Huh? No, forget it. It's nothing. There it is again, that mournful expression. Haru, did you want her to sing more? Hmm. I'm not sure. I feel like he dodged that question. Hold on to this, Takuma. I'm sure it will be use, some use to you. All right, we're going to see how everyone else is doing. But we should talk about the search for Miu. Can you two be in the cafeteria by noon? Me and my sister? Yeah, Kaito is waiting for everyone to get together. I'd hate to leave you two out. Okay. Okay. All right. See you later then. What item did we get? Should be at the very end of these. Darn. It's not. Anti confusion, maybe? Anti poison? It's hard to tell. Oh man, I can't believe I'm missing so many equipables. And these seem to. The key items seem to come up in no particular order, so. Uh, I guess we're talking to one these guys. Alright, let's... Look, I really am glad Ryo made it out okay, but what was with those ghastly hands? Oh, I love the word ghastly. Ghostly? I don't know which one she said. I don't know. That was the first time I've ever seen them. I always knew that fog was scary, but I never thought something like that was in there. Just the sight of it sent shivers down my spine. I never want to see that again. I guess just by being here, we run the risk of being attacked by it at any time. Oh, don't say that. Isn't there a chance it could be some incredibly rare enemy? It's possible, but we can't know that for sure. We should be prepared for the worst. Uh, just the thought of running into that creepy thing again makes me sick. Yeah, it's a really scary thought. Still, I don't think we can let that fear get the better of us. We still need to find a way back to our world, not to mention rescue Mew. We should at least come up with some plan. Or we could, she could get swallowed up just like that. Yes, you're right, but I don't know. What can we even do? 
That radio tower was our only hope, but it isn't even functional. Even so, these weird messages keep coming, one after another. Without calling the professor or having any adults around, there's not much we can do. It doesn't have to be much, as long as it's something. Uh, let's run from the vault. How are my affinities with people? Always is 12, Saki's is 4. Just to get... Do you have any ideas, Saki? What? Me? Uh, what about like an exorcism? It's a ghost, right? Can we banish it with a seance? Can you banish things with a seance? Beats me! Don't you have to be a priest to do an exorcism or something? D don't ask me. Yeah, I'm not so sure about this plan. I think maybe the safest thing to do at the end of the day is just agree to act together. Oh, I like that! And after all, it was when Ryu and Haru got cut off from us that they were in danger. But it was really Kunmon who saved Ryu last time. Yeah, all I could do was watch. I'm not sure it'd be any different next time. I think it took a lot of courage to do what Kunmon did. Yes, I'm sure you're right. I can't say for sure, but I'd have, I, for sure I'd have been able to do the same. We really did show up in, like, the worst possible place, didn't we? Looks like they're both starting to feel down again. I thought talking helped a bit. But now I don't even know what to say. I think I'll just give them some time. Alright, and... Oh, I can talk to Saki again. What did you make of those ghostly hands yesterday, Takuma? They were horrifying. My legs were shaking so bad I couldn't even move. Oh, so they scared you too? But you know, I thought I was kind of cool how you went to save Ryo like that. Well, I never could have done it if it weren't for Kunmon. Anyway, I was pretty desperate to save Ryo. So you don't actually hate the guy, despite his bad attitude? It's not really about whether I hate him or not. Besides, even Ryo has his good points. Haha, <laughs> I'm joking. Ryo's one of us, after all. <laughs> you sure are nice, though. Even Ryo has his good points, huh? I don't feel like I was being especially nice. Besides, Ryo does have his good points. You're right, I think so, too. Oh, cool. Uh, what was her question? I know you're really nice, Saki. I know that better than anyone. Nice, huh? Is that what you think too, Takuma? Hmm. I couldn't say. What? You mean you don't think she's nice? Oh, fuck. No, I didn't mean it like that. It's just that we only recently got to know each other. So I don't think it would be honest of me to agree when I don't know Saki all that well. Is that your way of saying you want to get to know me better? Maybe, I guess. Did it work? Okay, that actually doesn't sound too bad. I'm not sure I get what just happened, but Saki seems satisfied. I could have sworn that was the right answer. But I guess I don't remember. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, Digimon Survive. Next time, we'll keep traveling around and recruiting people to go on our save me as always i will see you in the next episode bye bye